Hey, it's Joe with Modular Home Hunters, and we're in Homosassa, Florida, taking a tour of The Summit by Clayton Holmes. This is a big one. Five bedroom, three bath, 2,280 square feet. It's 32 by 76, and it's got plenty of room, plenty of lights. Let's take a look inside. Okay, we've reached the summit, and <laughs> here it is. And if you need a lot of space and a lot of rooms, we've come to the right place. This is a nice open floor plan here. And you can see they've got their subdued wood trim and feature wall there. We'll get back to all this in a minute. And we'll spin right into the suite. And it's not staged yet, but you can see how big it is. All the rooms in here are, are nicely sized. And I'll leave a link in the description. People ask, where's the floor plan? It's in the description, generally speaking. And um, I appreciate the comments. And it's fun. I, we should design a house together. <laughs> Lots of good input. All right, so... We've got a dual vanity here with rectangular sinks and nickel faucets. And we've got a shower tub combo. And the tub is a good size oval, almost like a soaker tub, more or less. I mean, you could soak in there. <laughs> and we have a generous walk in closet. And everything in this house is generous. There's another thing we like to talk about no, oh, the wire racks. <laughs> yeah, well, they can be replaced. And you get a lot of bang for your buck out of this house. It's, it's, it's a nice price, as you're going to see in a minute. And if you've got if you've a need for a lot of rooms, this is the house. There's your toilet and your vanity once again. Just take another look at that. And it's, you know, utilitarian to a certain extent, but it's meant to be big and budget-minded. So that's a nice subdued look. I like the, I like the wood trim, and I like that feature. And we got an open floor plan, obviously, here. And like I said, plenty of room. I mean, you've got your dining room in front of your slider, but you've got plenty of space there, to, you know, for egress and in and out. And this is with appliances included in this particular Clayton. So that's a big bonus. Nice light cabinets. This is big, bright, and open looking. And coffee maker's not included. And then you got the coffee bar over here where they should have put the coffee maker. Hey, come on, guys. And... Some floating shelves and a window, lots of light in here, and a floating pantry for extra storage. And there's a lot of cabinets in here, and cottage door, and you do have a utility closet here. That could also double as another pantry if you wanted to, if you have enough space to keep what you need elsewhere. And here's your hookups for your laundry, and we're going to take the spin here, so kind of hold on to your hat. We'll go clockwise. It's a lot of rooms. Okay, so here's bedroom two, and again, I'll have the floor plan in the description so you can see exactly how big these rooms are, but they're all decent-sized rooms with huge windows and lots of light, and here's your closet, and you got a good size reach in. It's all right. We spin around to bedroom three, and it's a little bit bigger than that one, and also, obviously, reach-in closet over here. So that's bedroom three. Now we have a Jack and Jill bathroom. And it has a nice vanity like the other bath uh, with a nice sink and uh, nickel plate faucet. But I don't really like this situation here, but it is what it is because it's a Jack and Jill. I guess they figured they'll give you a bath, some privacy. So you've got a shower tub with your toilet in here through another door. I guess so if someone's in there and someone opens the door, they're in the bath or the shower, they get a little extra privacy somehow. And bedroom four. Okay, and this is a this is the biggest of the bedrooms. This is a large room, and might not look like it because the walls right there, but it is much bigger than the other rooms. And you got once again a reach-in closet, reasonably good sized. It'll do the job. That's bedroom four. Now we have a den for the back end of the house, which is nice, especially if you got a lot of kids and people, and they kind of want some separation. I always like having that. They kind of put the house uh, almost its own house in the back. Nice big den. This is a big room for, you know, all your games or whatever you do. And bedroom five. And it's it's a decent size room also. And has, obviously, another reaching closet. So that's five bedrooms. Count them five. All right, so now we'll head back out. We've gone around. See the, the Jack and Jill's back against that wall there. It's kind of crazy. but And now you got bathroom three here. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not going to show you that bathroom. They got the wall tore out, and it's not pretty, but it's got a tub, shower, toilet, and vanity. And finally, came around. Here is your huge 
island with your dual sink prep style faucet and seating for probably eight. This is just a big house. Everything about it is wide open, bright, and lots of room and a really great price, which we're going to talk about right now. So let's do it. All right. So that's the Clayton Homes Summit. If you like Clayton Homes, we have a playlist for Clayton Homes. We have playlists for Palm Harbor and Champion and whatever brand you might happen to like. So check that link in the description and go to the playlists and watch away. <laughs> They're free. All right. So we got a five bedroom, three bath, <laughs> 2,280 square foot, 32 by 76 double wide. And the average price as shown is 194.9. Good bang for your buck on this one. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.